number one. The most extreme transformer in the countdown has one of the world's most complicated life cycles, and it lives inside the bodies of other animals. You can find it in wetlands where there are frogs. Most unusual frogs. This adult amphibian has sprouted 15 limbs from all over its body. Only two of the legs are actually functional. What could have caused these strange mutations? Was it radioactivity? Was it pollution? Scientists only recently discovered that the cause was completely natural, but far more scary. Their search led them inside the bodies of predatory animals like snakes and herons, because their intestines are home to the most extreme transformer in the countdown. It's a parasitic flatworm called Riberia. If this adult form is phase one of the life cycle, the first transformation begins when the flatworm releases eggs into the gut, where they're passed out with the droppings into the water. The eggs hatch into a tiny free-swimming larva that goes in search of a new host. This is phase two of the life cycle. Its target is an unsuspecting freshwater snail. The larva burrows into the flesh and feeds, preparing itself for another transformation into a much bigger tadpole-like creature. This is phase three of the life cycle. It digs itself out of the poor old snail's body and goes in search of yet another host. This time, it's a tadpole. Once again, it burrows through the skin and takes up residence around the tadpole's rear end. Here, it transforms again, this time into a cyst. It stays in this phase while the tadpole undergoes a transformation of its very own, losing the tail, growing legs, and becoming a frog. It just so happens that frogs are the favorite food of birds like herons. Once back inside the predator, the cyst hatches and grows into the adult worm. Eventually, it will produce eggs inside the bird's intestines and the cycle starts all over again. This parasitic worm is number one in the countdown because to survive in many different hosts, it has to transform into many different creatures. But the story doesn't finish here. Since the cycle can only be completed if an infected frog gets eaten by a predator, the parasite has found a way to handicap its host. Remember how the cysts form in the tail region of the tadpole? Well, during metamorphosis, somehow the cysts cause the frog to develop with many extra limbs, or even no limbs at all. These mutant frogs are actually the result of the parasite. Cysts form in clusters around the joints of the frog's developing limbs. Thanks to the parasite, the frog is basically crippled. All it can do is sit there and wait for a predator to come along and swallow both it and its cargo of cysts. For the frog, it's a terrible way to die. For the parasite, 
It's an insurance policy to maximize the chances of completing its incredible life cycle. Which is why, when it comes to transformations, this parasitic worm really is the most extreme.